already. <laughs> uh. Hello everyone, so I'm back with another video with Claire. Um, Claire is leaving really soon, like when this video comes out on Monday, you're not here. going away. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're away. Um, she's going to travel Europe for a month and after that she's going to the US. US? Yes, yes. I'm going to the US. <laughs> So yeah, she's gonna go away for quite a long time. So today, the whole day is Claire's going away party. So we thought we would kick it off by having a drinking game. <laughs> so we both got some ciders. Um, and we also both have some facts that we wrote down. And they're just really simple, false, true, true, false. Why did I say false, true? True, false questions. And if we get it wrong, we take a sip, basically. <laughs> we're not gonna do shots because then we're gonna be dead. We yeah. need to last for 12, 13 hours. We're going out at 11. What's the time now? <laughs> it's, it's 11. Oh, it's, it's, a bit, yeah, it's been a long so day. It's gonna be a very long day. <laughs> there we go. Mm. I'm gonna pour it in a glass because mm. I don't like drinking from a bottle. It's way too early for this, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, okay, fact number one. The Netherlands has more bikes than people in their country. I'm going to say true. Yes. Yeah, is. there's Correct. a lot of bikes. Do you we, have... we should add it if I get it right, you drink. Cheers. We have more bikes than people in the Netherlands. Okay, my first one. I don't know if you get this one. This one's just a little obscure. Okay. The Big Banana, a popular tourist attraction, is located in Ballina. I've heard about this. They have a big everything, like a big crab and a big banana and a big pineapple or whatever. Um, what did you say it was? Ballina. I think that's true. False. Ah, oh, damn it! Big banana is located in Coffs Harbour. The big prawn, or shrimp, which we don't call them, we call them prawns, um, is located in Ballina. I, I, I remember something big being in Ballina, so I thought it was true. Okay, this is going, very, this is going very well for this is actually just my idea to get Carla drunk at before 12, so... I'll just retaliate and get like the hardest fact I have here. <laughs> the Netherlands is the biggest beer exporter in the world. Ooh... They're very toss up, but... Mm. <laughs> False. It's true. You're correct. Ah, have a drink! <laughs> yeah, so actually... <laughs> The Netherlands was the biggest beer exporter, but in 2010, Mexico no took way. over. Yeah, so it is a false fact. Yes, this is going very, very well. <laughs> <laughs> the rabbit-proof fence is the world's largest fence. Oh, I've never heard of a rabbit-proof fence. Have you not? Fence. No. no. But I do, I've heard about the fact that rabbits are kind of like a plague, a pest in Australia, because they're not like native and they just take over everything mm. um, because they breed like rabbits. <laughs> um, so the rabbit proof fence is the biggest fence. It's the largest fence in the world. In the world. I'm gonna say it's true. It is true. Yay! Finally, <laughs> I was getting thirsty. <laughs> well, sorry for not letting you drink enough. <laughs> mm. oh, I don't come off well in your videos. I'm always talking about alcohol. <laughs> Making a very Australian impression. Yeah, well. <laughs> the Dutchness. Ugh, I can't pronounce it already. Like, I had three sips. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the Dutch national anthem. I hate that word so much. The Dutch national. <laughs> oh, this is such a hard well, sentence to pronounce. Three sips. No, it's just a hard sentence <laughs> to pronounce. Okay. The Dutch national anthem is the oldest anthem in the world. False. It's true. Mm. It's true. Um, the national anthem was written in the 16th century. Why? <laughs> because that was when we got like liberated from the, the Spanish and they wrote a song for our new king's house. And that's mm -hmm. still our anthem. And that's cool. why they sing about the Spanish and stuff. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning stuff. I didn't, I didn't know that either. I just like, I looked up facts basically. <laughs> Australia is the only country to eat its coat of arms. To eat its coat of 
this is not fair because I don't know what your code of arms is. <laughs> oh, good, because that was my follow-up question. Oh, no. <laughs> um, well, I assume it's an animal then. Um, two animals. It's, it's probably if it's it's gonna be too stereotypical to be a kangaroo, is it? Uh, I don't know why my mom... is it. <laughs> <laughs> but what would be the other one? Armadillo or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, no, 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 no. no, the first thing that came into my mind was was a kookaburra. To be honest, but no, <laughs> I'm gonna be it. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know what kind of animal it is, but I'm just gonna say it's true anyway. It is, true. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because to be honest, in the Netherlands we eat kangaroo meat as well. Like we export, uh, import it and stuff. Mm-hmm. They shoot it in Australia and they send it over because <laughs> apparently they have too much of them. <laughs> we do. They're a problem. Exactly. Kangaroos so. are a problem. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so our coat of arms are a kangaroo and an emu. Oh, an emu! Uh-huh. And they so were picked to be on our coat of arms because neither of them can walk backwards. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact. Okay, a kangaroo I get because they hop and stuff and they have, like, really floppy feet. But sure. why can't the emu walk backwards? Mm-hmm. Since we're talking about, I'm, I'm not. I'm not like doing. I'm doing too badly because she's like drinking by herself now. <laughs> okay, so since we're talking about national stuff, mm-hmm. the Dutch introduced the orange carrot. The orange carrot. Yes. They're a different color before. <laughs> oh, false! <laughs> it is true. <laughs> what carrots used to be like? yellow and purple and like all kinds of colors oh. but the dutch like selectively bred orange carrots to represent our Fairly. orange king's house mm. there you go. so there we go we made orange, orange, car- carrots. orange carrots thank you <laughs> netherlands and <laughs> right. I, I, I wonder how many people know that like carrots are like originally orange because if you if you uproot any like plant it's gonna be like white or like brownish yeah, or something. Yeah. So yeah, we, we just Makes made sense. we just bred them orange. <laughs> Australia has a population of twenty seven million. Mm. Mm. So the Netherlands has about seventeen, eighteen million. And I know that Australia is like very thinly populated because most of their land is just in uninhabitable 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 <laughs> I have a lot of hard to pronounce words today but um I'm gonna say it's true it's false ah oh, damn it we only have 24 million oh. <laughs> I knew it was close though <laughs> the Dutch this is more recent fact the Dutch were the first to legalize gay marriage in the world false True. I thought New Zealand were. Ah, my fact said that it was in 2001. Fact check. Fact check, guys. Was in fact the Netherlands. Ha! <laughs> Life No, same-sex marriage. It's yeah, definitely the, the Netherlands. The actual, like, marriage of same-sex partners was first legalised by the Netherlands. Yay! Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Australia's getting there. We did it last year. Yeah, exactly. it took us a long time, but um, <laughs> I mean, we got there eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Australia is the world's fourth largest country. Fourth largest country. Basically, the contenders then are the United States, yeah. Australia, yeah. Russia, mm-hmm. China, mm-hmm. maybe Canada. I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know, like, exact measurements, like, square kilometers or anything. Nor do I. So, you said the fourth largest? Yes. I'm gonna say it's true. False. Ah, damn it! We're the sixth largest. The sixth? Yeah. What are the other five? (laughs) Probably the ones you mentioned. (laughs) US, Russia, China, something, something, us. Okay. Cheers. (laughs) So, tulips are a natively Dutch flower. True. False. Oh, yeah. They were exported, exported, imported. Sorry, the other one. They were imported from Turkey in the 16th century. Oh, really? Yeah. Why you all claim that, then? We don't. We just have, like, the largest export of flowers in the world. Mm. And because we've been breeding them for, like, the past five, six hundred years, we it's just very ingrained in the Dutch culture. But they came from 
uh, Turkey. Same with potatoes. Came from but, Turkey. Well, not from Turkey, but everyone thinks that potatoes is a very like traditionally Dutch dish. It's not Dutch. because they were they were imported. We didn't have potatoes before we went overseas. Hmm. So there we go. You guys steal a lot of things and claim it. <laughs> we just claim it. We just integrate wow. it. Okay. Australia is the world's smallest continent. Smallest continent? Yes. I think there's an F Antarctica, to be honest. Mm. Uh, no, mm. so we have to think. So you have, of course, America, you have Europe, you have Africa, Asia. Asia is one of the biggest, I think. It's, it's going to be either Australia or Antarctica. Uh, I got to say it's true. It is true. Ha! <laughs> it is true. <laughs> was Australia loud. is the world's largest island, but the world's smallest continent. Oh. And we are, we are the only thing, I guess, that is an island, a continent, and a country. Yeah. Yeah, it's We're just... pretty cool. It's just really weird to think about the fact that... A fr- friend, Pauline, she sh- showed me a map of, like, Australia, like, laid over Europe, and... One person would be living in England and the other would be living in Turkey, yet they would be like in the same country. And it's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's like from someone coming from such a small country, it's something I can't wrap my head around, to be honest. Well, the thing I can't wrap my head around is you will be able to. How long does it take for you to drive from one side of the country to the other? From top to bottom? It's, it's like 300 kilometers. So it's like three hours. Something like that. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> Maybe three hours. You're not in a di- you're not in a different state yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is one is a bit. Um, it's really common knowledge for us, but I don't know how many foreigners foreigners will like know it. Okay. So I kind of gave away the answer now. I think. I know. <laughs> when high school teens graduate, mm-hmm. their parents put out the flag and they hang the school bag on the flag post. I mean, that'd be pretty cool if it's true. Is it true? It is true. It is true. Yeah, so we don't hang out our flag a lot, to be honest. We do it on specific days, uh, such as Liberation Day, uh, Remembrance Day, King's Day, those kind of things. But one time you're actually allowed to fly your flag is when your child graduates high school and then they put the school bag on top of the pole and you have it, like, hanging outside your house. So... Um, always at the end of the school year, you see a lot of them around, like, houses and stuff. And you can see that the kids graduated. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. The Netherlands Ooh. can fit into Australia 150 times. It might be an underestimate. <laughs> <laughs> like, we are tiny. As I said, like, we have... It's 300 kilometers long and 200-something wide. I'm going to say it's false. It is false. Yeah, you can fit in more, don't you? Yeah, 186 times. <laughs> yeah, we're tiny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, you're like, you're from the biggest country in the world and I'm from the smallest, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm from the smallest country in the world. <laughs> or uh, the biggest country that's an island, because otherwise I'm saying the wrong thing. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The highest mountain, I'm doing quotes, <laughs> the highest mountain in the Netherlands is 420 meters high. That's not high, man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that's true. Because it's false. Is it, is it lower? 322. It's lower, yeah. <laughs> A very flat country. Yeah. So it's the wow. Falster Berg, and it's like in the bottom of Limburg, very close to like Belgium, those kind of stuff. Where they actually have mountains. Um, so yeah, the highest point in the Netherlands, we call it a mountain, but it's not, is 322 metres high. Australia has had five prime ministers in the last five years. I'm going to say that's true because they disappear in the sea, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> um, it is true. Ah! <laughs> it shouldn't be true because uh, they're supposed to serve for four years. Oh. But, um... Politicians hate each other and Australians don't care. We're like, ah, oh, do we have to vote again? <laughs> really? <laughs> but it's 
compulsory. Voting is compulsory. Oh yeah, I heard if you get you actually get a fine if you don't show up to vote. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like in the Netherlands, we don't have that. It's just if you don't show up to vote, your vote still counts. A lot of people don't know this in the Netherlands. So if you go vote, you either vote for a party or you vote blank. If you don't go vote blank, your vote is still distributed over the parties when, like, when the uh, elections are done. And let's say they got a party got like sixty percent of the votes, then they get sixty percent of the unvoted votes as well, oh, wow. and that counts into their uh, counts of chairs in the chamber, like second, let's say the camera and stuff. So if you actually think I don't care for politics and I don't want my vote to do anything. Go vote blank, because otherwise the vote still counts. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's a very different system, of course. Yeah. yeah. So we had the highest point. The, mm, okay. So the lowest point in the Netherlands is seven meters below sea level. Seven? Yeah. Wouldn't it be... Uh, is that false? Is it lower? It's true. Oh, it, it, it doesn't sound like a lot, no. but can you just imagine a seven meter I'm deep hole? Yeah. And that's then an area, because it's the Zuidplas polder. We call stuff that we like drain from the sea, we call them polder. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like an area seven meters below sea level. So if you imagine the sea seven meters bo- above that, it's, a, it's, a, it's pretty deep. Yeah, yeah <laughs> true. Yeah. Yeah. And also, a fun fact, because I didn't include it in this one, because I think she already knows, the Netherlands has a province which didn't exist about 50 years ago, because they literally drained it from the sea. Flevoland didn't exist until, like, 50 years ago. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, we need more land, so we're just going to take it from the sea. Pretty cool, though. Dutch. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. <laughs> Mate is the most commonly used word in Australia. I'll have to bleep this, maybe, because I think it's going to be I'm going to say it's false. It is false. It's going to be some kind of swear word, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's <laughs> We love to swear. Drink and swear. Way. <laughs> so, my last fact. It's, it's, um... A bit about the, the Netherlands, a bit about the Dutch, and a bit about Australia. Mm-hmm. The Dutch were the first to discover both Australia and New Zealand. I'm going to say true. Yeah, I know that's true. My mum told me that. <laughs> it is true. So, for some reason, I, I was talking to a Kiwi, which we call the New Zealanders, call themselves Kiwis. And she disputed me about the fact that New Zealand was discovered by a Dutch person. It is called New Zealand because our province is called Zealand. So when they discovered yeah. it, they called it New Zealand. Yeah. And Australia was called New Holland until the 1820s. So around like the 17th century or 1700s, an Englishman cook 1700s. They he discovered quite a large part of Australia and called it New South Wales. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the rest of Australia was called New Holland until they accum- like assimilated the word Australia in like 1820 something. Yeah. So. Um, Tasmania, which is the state down the bottom of Australia, is still called Van Diemen's Land. Yes, that, that, that was that was the explorer mm. that founded that land. Yeah. Yeah. Mum actually told me that the Dutch uh, discovered Australia. Thought it was worthless. Yeah. Then went on to Indonesia and made a ton of money. Yeah. So you have one last one for me? My last one, yeah. Yeah. Indigenous Australians are the world's oldest culture. Oh. That's kind of a hard one because there are a lot of really old cultures. Though, like, if you think about, like, Pangea, though, no, no, not Pangea, but, like, how the world was before it was broken apart. <laughs> Australia wasn't an island the whole time. Um, so people walked there, which is like a long, long time ago. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say it's true. It is true. Ha! It is true. <laughs> Drink. Because it's oh, yeah. <laughs> you. You done yet? Nearly. <laughs> Cheers. Finished. Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! I'm not finished whatsoever. So, I really want to thank 
Claire for doing another video with me just before she leaves. Um, if you want to check out my other video I did with her, links over there. Click it, have a look. It's a really fun Australian versus Dutch one about proverbs and sayings. And I won't be seeing you for a while. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna miss you. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, the button is down below to subscribe. Ring the bell if you want to be notified. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>